I'm David Rodman. I'm a professor of medicine and of microbiology from Stanford University, and I'm the current vice president of the Infectious Disease Society of America. I'm delighted to, uh, to uh, welcome you all to this press conference this morning. These are very exciting times. Um, they're exciting because we are continuing to understand more about the microbial communities that live on and within the human body and understand their roles in health and disease. In many ways, this is an old story, uh, but it has a lot of renewed interest, I think because of three reasons. First, there's been a revolution in our ability to detect and characterize microbes using molecular techniques. And second reason, there's been a resurgent interest in the use of ecological principles, uh, the idea that that microbial community is the unit of study. Um, it's also sometimes the unit of disease. And thirdly, there's a recognition of the fundamental contributions of the human microbial communities to health. And this is something that is unfolding as we speak. The story is one of symbiosis and one of dependency. I have to say that we as physicians have probably focused too heavily on microbes as just agents of disease. And we have promoted this idea, unfortunately, to the public, um, who all now believe that perhaps the only good microbe is a dead one. Um, this idea is wrong. We are them, and they are us. They play essential roles in immune system development, in nutrition, in protection against pathogens, in detoxification of environmental chemicals, and the list goes on and on. And yet, our communities, when altered, may become agents of disease. And we're responsible for many of these alterations. But we haven't fully understood or recognized how and when this occurs. When this does occur, we have to understand that no one organism, microorganism, uh, is responsible for what might be some pathology. Uh, but again, this is the idea that's been promoted in ecology for many years, the idea that communities are an interwoven network of players, of individuals with their own lives um, playing together as one. And in this case, the interwoven lives are connected with ours as well, both in terms of our physiology and our pathology.